is this your first time here at M&M? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So is there anything specific that you're interested in seeing when you're here? I'm really interested in seeing all the new tech that's available inside the centers. So are there any specific instruments that you're interested in? No, but I've heard that some people like bring actual electron microscopes here, and I'm curious to see if that's actually there. For me, I was very interested for typography, oh, presented typography. by uh, mm. David yeah, yeah, yeah. Miller. That seems today. to be a big topic this year. Yeah, so it was very interesting. I was very impressed that the high resolution like, enabled by typography. Okay. I'm really interested in 4D STEM in situ work because 4D STEM has become like really um, widespread then a few years ago and now people are adding like wacky stuff like look of phase and in situ and like that's, I think that's crazy yeah. and I, I want to look into that. Yeah. 4D STEM is super fun. I've heard about precession and I think that's really cool. Precession. Precession. Yes. Okay. What sort of technique is that? Precession is where you like tilt the sample a little bit and you like put that all all that data into one to create this one really beautiful diffraction image. I love the discussions. A lot of discussions. Like, yeah. yeah. You get to hear about what people are interested in, what kind of questions people are asking, because microscopy there are benefits, but there are also caveats, and so like where is the line where we can get interpretable results. And that's the discussion that we're all having. I think m and really distinguishes itself from other conferences because we're like microscopists, right? So we don't get this huge group of microscopists in other um, conferences and I think that makes it really unique. And just seeing all the microscopy happening is really cool. We want more coffee. Yeah. <laughs> more, more coffee, coffee breaks. Yeah, more coffee. More snacks. More snacks. More snacks. Oh. <laughs>